Yo, 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 yo. What is up? What's going on? Mic check, mic check. I'm gonna have to do a mic check at the beginning of every stream and a sound check uh, to avoid what happened two streams ago and not having any sim audio and you only hearing my voice during the entire stream. So, I think we're good. Levels look good. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome back to another stream. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome, welcome. As always, it's Javi checking in here. Super excited for today's stream. Uh, as you can see, we are still rocking with the PMDG. 737 BBJ for today's stream and thank you all for tuning in appreciate you guys watching and happy to have you for today's stream video uh, today's video on route is going to be we are here on the ramp in um, Reno Nevada extra sunny extra nice uh, we're going to go down to Van Nuys uh, the private airport down in North LA in the valley, San Fernando Valley. Uh, so Reno to Van Nuys, uh, it's a pretty cool airport. Um, it's like all private jets. So we are continuing our biz jet ops. And if you're your first time tuning into the channel, um, I am all biz jet ops. I love private aviation. So we rock the business jets, the private aviation jets. So the uh, PMDG BBJ could not have fit the bill any better. Uh, so yeah, that is the plan for today. Uh, let's see. I actually changed my resolution to what I wanted it to be. And it looks like OBS is cooperating. So that works for me. So yeah, we are going Reno to Van Nuys. Let's see, trip time is one hour. Uh, we'll go ahead and cut the tunes there as well. Uh, let's see. Yeah, trip time, one hour. Looks mighty dinky. Hopefully you guys can see that, but uh, start OFP. Uh, flight plan for today. Flight time's an hour. We got 21 packs. The BBJ holds 30. Uh, so we'll be doing 21 packs. So that is the plan for today. So let's get to it. Hope everybody's Tuesday and week is going good. Got some exciting streams coming up. Um, yeah, this plane is just sweet. I can't wait to fly it more and more every day. As soon as I, I swear, as soon as I shut it down, I just want to pick up another flight and go again. But without further ado, um, if you do enjoy today's stream, please like and subscribe. Uh, it does help this itty bitty channel grow, helps us in the algorithm and all that good stuff. So. Any likes and subscriptions would be much appreciated. And uh, yeah, I, I stream here on Microsoft Flight Simulator weekly, exclusively on Microsoft Flight Sim. So hoping to share what I know and what I learn uh, in the sim. Uh, so yeah, if you hit the uh, notification bell, you'll be notified for all future streams and videos. So without further ado, let's hop in this bad boy this thing is a beast love it let's go all right um 
All right. And there goes the simulator. Okay. That's just great. Um, all right. Try that one more again. Great. Yeah. And you will get crashed to desktops. <laughs> Exhibit A. All right, let's play some hold music, why don't we? Well, typical Tuesday. Whatever. We'll roll with the punches. It is what it is. Um, yeah, lots of exciting stuff for the uh, the sim. I know the new Airbus is dropping very soon. Uh, the Phoenix Airbus is dropping very soon. I've seen a couple of the previews. I, however, am not sold. Um, that's just my own personal taste. Oh, I forgot it's going to play the intro music, so maybe we... Actually, no, I turned my intro music down really low, so hopefully you can't hear them both. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I'm sticking with the 7.3. Um, but hope you guys get some... Uh, some good fun out of the new Airbus if you guys uh, go with it but yeah I'll be sticking to the good old 7 tree for a while still got a lot to learn in this plane I um, feel like I'm learning something new every day messing around with it going on different trips and all that good stuff so um, yeah I think if I want to fly the Airbus, I'll just jump back in the fly by wire. But who knows? Maybe I'll get the Phoenix later. I did see some folks were having some major uh, FPS lag, so that's a huge uh, bummer. So I'm going to stay away for now. on trucking with the, uh, the MGG 737 for now. Alright, so don't need this on my laptop. But yeah, other than that, uh, I think we're still waiting on the Challenger 300. That's going to be a freeware release on flight sim to just change my settings i don't know why i have to change these every time i open the sim if anybody knows how to fix that that would be great uh let's see zoom in here we were on the fbo ramp which i believe is on this side so our settings are good And maybe perfect time to hold on the music. Cool. Speaking of music, I'm going to either tonight or tomorrow, I'm going to grab some more music for the stream. Um, what else? What else? I can pull up the uh, Flight Sim TO to and look at that uh, 300, uh, Challenger 300 uh, when we get going here, but we're gonna jump right into it. I also I also adjusted some of my levels, microphone and sim audio for the stream, so I'll be checking in with you guys to see how that's going throughout the video, but don't forget. Does it seem like uh, streams were kind of quiet before? So, kind of cranked up some levels and all that good stuff, but yes. Yeah, overall, the uh, 
first week flying the PMDG BBJ. Uh, the 737-700 has been a blast. Um, aside from the bugs that I've been running into, but it is what it is. I'm sure they'll be hopefully fixed sooner than later. But uh, yeah, I love the airplane. Can't wait for the EFB tablet. That'll be even, even more huge than the plane itself. You know, that's going to be for a future update. So looking forward to that. I um, also need to get some new liveries because I do not want to just keep flying this uh, same livery. Um, I did see there's like over 400 um, new 737 liveries already on Flight Sim TO, which is crazy after one week. Uh, there's that many liveries. But uh, yeah, not hardly any BBJ livery so it's a bummer I uh, feel like I need to find a livery designer because I got some good ideas there's plenty of business jet liveries that are pretty sweet um, so yeah if you guys know of anyone that makes design deliveries, let me know in the comments below. Um, would definitely love to uh, connect with them and get some deliveries made. All right, why is this taking so long? Usually when it crashes, eh, it loads back up pretty fast. I don't know why. Is it because Google Chrome has got 47 tasks running? It's kind of annoying how Google Chrome does that. Is it going to get stuck on stupid as well? I don't know. Not looking good. Is it... Uh... As usually you can see at the bottom the words change if it's actually uh, frozen or whatnot looks like it might be I don't know what's going on oh boy boy oh boy oh boy oh boy What else is going on? Uh, yeah, the Phoenix, Airbus, the Challenger 300. I think I remember seeing somewhere there was a, a Pilatus in development, which is a turboprop. Uh, Yeah, I think this might be stuck because the words at the bottom, usually if it's not frozen, the words at the bottom will keep rotating different messages. Oh, come on, Microsoft. Oh, there was a small update today. Hmm. Just remember that, that I updated earlier. So, go figure. Go figure. So hopefully we can stream today. That would be a bummer, if not. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. I need to look on the uh, LightSimTO website to see what else is coming out. I forget off the top of my head. Um... Come on, seriously. Oh boy. Kill on me smiles. 
not responding in task manager. What do you know? I think the uh, that update earlier could have did it. That could have done it. Not responding. All right, well, I guess I'll just end it. And we'll give her another shot. It's nice this comes up now. Before, the sim would take like two minutes of nothing showing if it's even going to run or not. Way to go, Microsoft. All right, I'll keep an eye on it on the task manager, see if she's going to cooperate. Yeah, this is the TBM. That was the first plane I started flying on uh, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 when it came out. I have not flown that plane in a good while. All right, round two. Let's see what we got. Let's see, let's see. Yes, safe mode. Not safe mode, normal mode. Checking for updates, there are none. Is that brownies? Brownies, are you in here? Are you in chat? Brownies! Say hello if you're in chat. <sighs> come on, come on. CJ4, it's in the middle. Miss flying that little bird. Not responding, I knew it. I wonder if I should have restarted my computer before I opened the sim. Hey, brownies. What's going on? Thanks for joining. Good to see you. What is up? How are you? Uh, so yeah, you're looking at the loading screen. Unfortunately. Uh, the sim wants to keep crashing, so... We're gonna keep giving it, uh, some more goes. Because usually... Well, always. You guys don't even see this screen. Because I have this already preloaded before we jump on. Alright. Let's adjust the awkward resolution like I always have to do. This. Save. Turn our buildings on max. Ultra. Save. Because it will never keep my settings for whatever reason. Let's go Reno. Let's give it another go. Fingers crossed. Cross, 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 cross. What do you think, Brownies? Is she going to cooperate? Is she going to cooperate? All right. Keep my eye on the bottom for the uh, words to keep changing. Bottom left. I need some chapstick. That would be very 
good for right about now. Fingers crossed. You can do it. You can do it, Microsoft Light Sim. I know it's so hard sometimes to just work like normal. Okay. We're off to a decent start. Um, oh, one thing I need to check is my antennas because it does not reinstall them on the thingy here. All right, let's give it a shot. Okay, give it a second to think. Whoa, why is my mic so loud? Um, about that. Okay. Yeah, what I did before too was slewed around the 180. But whatever, we'll leave it here. Back to our regular scheduled program. All right. We'll give this another shot and we're back in Reno so let's uh, let me pull up the flight plan so we have it to breathe load PDF zoom her in one, one more zoom uh, yeah that's good all right antennas are in tail Fuselage, good to go. All right, it's saying the bit rate is zero, which it's definitely not. It's 128. Uh, brownies, you guys, let me know if uh, can't hear anything. Full beans, full beans. All right, let's jump in. Hopefully, okay. Doing, doing pretty good so far. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me get my handy dandy checklist so I don't get lost and forget everything. All right. Let's go battery on. Oops. Yeah. Just to be helpful for you guys. Uh, battery's right here. Uh, so battery's on. Oh, close. All you have to do is close the guard. Uh, we're going to go aft one on, bottom left, for APU startup. Uh, and I have a lot of my, I have, I have a lot of my buttons mapped to my travel throttle and alpha yoke, so I'll try to point out stuff along the way. Yeah, brownies, we're back. After the crash of the desktop, we are back. Sorry about that, guys. We're only, I don't know, 25 minutes late. <laughs> All right, so we'll go bottom, middle. We'll go APU uh, start on and then start. Let's see if we can get this to cooperate. Listen to it fire up. Sounds good. This is a freeware too, I'm assuming. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Cool, so let's go APUs available. Just wait for this 
blue APU gen light to light up. That's your APUs available, pretty much. And then we'll go bus one and two under it. Boom, now we got power from the APU. We'll go bleed on, far right, middle. Uh, and then I'll go, we'll go logo light. Oh, this isn't working, is it? Uh, yeah, it's supposed to go to on. Hold on, guys, let me. Uh, this was being weird earlier. I mapped my. Logo light on, logo light off. Oh, I know what it was. I forgot to. Yep, I did single mouse click. I think it's supposed to be double. Nope. Uh, do 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 do. Um, let's try this. Will this work? Nope. So it goes to the middle pulse. I do not want pulse. Uh, do, 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 all right, we'll do this, and then we'll do, uh, maybe logo light toggle. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to re route the, uh, There he goes. Now it's bypassing the pulse, skipping that. And I just did logo light twice. Single mouse click for both of those. It's bad next is another another thing I've been learning as I'm mapping all my buttons. All right, now that debacle's done. We'll go back up top. We'll do. Our hydraulic pumps one and two right here. I got those mapped. Emergency lights, put those on. Boom. Auto. Seat belts auto. I like just pushing the attend button just because. Alright, let's line our navvies one and two. And I like just testing this. And then testing our oxygen down here. It's a cool sound. Love it. Alright, let's go back here. Oh, uh, uh, yes, I know. IRS. Let's see, we are K R N O. And we'll go. Next page. Copy, paste, boom. Well, let's go back to. Let's go back to menu, FS actions. Uh, today we'll just quick load the fuel uh, instead of having the call the fuel guy. We'll give him the day off. Uh, let's see. Fuel, where is Z fuel? We'll go down here. This is page three. Fuel is 11.6, so we'll put. I've been doing an extra 100 pounds for running the APU, so we'll do 11.7 on that. Uh, and then we can go. We'll request since. So my thing is, I'm trying to figure out how I can load the airplane all the FMS without having to well no, what I'm trying to do is yeah set up the FMS completely and not have the and be able to load the passengers last like it happens in real private aviation like you know they're not still setting the FMC 
when the you know the passengers are arriving so I want to get it to where I can load everything all the zero fuel weight the in it all that stuff but I'm still figuring that out when I figure it out I'll let you guys know so the passengers are here because you know in private aviation like literally the planes completely ready to start and go by the time the passengers are there so uh, let's go back here we got 21 packs today so we'll put that in here 21 and we'll go cargo is 2400 pounds so we'll do 1.2 to split it up 1200 in the front 1200 in the back and the BBJ you can't pull up the belt loaders I don't think I haven't been able to which is kind of butthurt about but whatever um, cool so passengers are here oh, let's start their cargo first and we'll board the packs so they're getting out of their fancy trucks uh... doing that, doing that, cool let's see what else so while we wait for them uh, we'll put in our we'll squawk two thou. And we'll go one one twenty two point eight on the in the box here. Switch that one twenty two eight and 2000 in the squawk and standby. Cool. And VHF is already set. That's good to go. Uh, let's go back. Where were we? So, let's see. One more passenger. Good there. Cargo is almost done. We'll wait on that. And then we'll keep moving along here. Yeah, it's literally almost done. Let's wait. Cool. That's good. We'll go. Pax SUVs released. If you guys can see that. I just way out. Pax SUVs released. So they are. Transportation is out of here. Cool. Um, we'll go back to our route here so route we are K-R-N-O I still need to figure out how to do the sim what is it the uplink where you can uh, like preload the whole flight instead of clicking everything in still figuring that out um, yeah so we're K-R-N-O Reno to so Van Nuys V-N-Y uh, let's see then we're gonna go H2. Where is our flight plan? Let's see, our routing is here. Let's go departure arrival, departing. Uh, let's see, what are the winds today? Let's check that first. Live weather's all on, cool. Reno, winds are 270 at 6, so winds are from the west. I don't know if this. I don't know if this runway 25 here is going to be too short. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh. Does it say runway distance on here? I 
I don't know what. Oh, is this it? 6,100 feet? Oh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, wow, I've never realized that before. Yeah, 6,100 feet. I think that, that should be good. Um, no, I don't know if that's going to cooperate with our uh, departure here. Hold on. Uh, if I go 2-5, yeah, that is not on our route. Nope, I'll do... What was it? Through? How do I... No. No, I don't... Jesus. How do I not select this runway? Seriously? Archer. Uh, what was the other one? Come on. I mean, they're 270. It's a crosswind. Well, let's just do 16 left. No, because that's... Oh, my goodness. What's the other one? Three, four, right. Pevine. Oops, come on. Pevine, the CRDD transition. Uh, let's see. Then to FRA. FRA. And then I'm assuming it's the first one. I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, J7. J7. Airway. And then. Uh, Reberg. We'll try to find that on here. I'm sure it's a transition. We'll do 1 6 right Zulu. That's our. Our approach, Ivan's one. Ivan's one. Reberg, beautiful. Transition, I do not know. Let's see. Where's the Ivan's? Uh, Tim Umber. Probably Umber, I would say. Let's go one six right Zulu. Yeah, where's Umber? Yeah, we'll do Umber. We'll do that. Um, cool. Route. Activate. Execute. Uh, let's go legs. Let's go zoom you out and look at our map plan. Zoom on up in here. So we got straight out. Actually, I need to zoom out. Yep, there we go. North departure, then we're going west and then straight south. Reberg. Why is there such a big gap here? Uh, let's go back. Step. Reberg. Down through the arrival, Ivans, and we'll just go clear that vector. We'll just go direct there. Makes the most sense. And we'll clear that other vector. It's Mount Reberg. Here, execute to get rid of that. There, now it's connected, we'll go legs, good on the plan there, we'll go traffic on and FPV on for our flight director. Alright. Yeah. Truck's already left. Uh, let's see, we'll go Oops. What am I doing? In it. 
wrong button. There we go. So zero fuel weight. Anybody else getting this? I think a lot of us are. <laughs> the uh, screen here, just uh, when you click something, it goes half seas on you. So I've just been cutting it. Single pilot anyway. Coop. Uh, reserves. So yeah, your zero fuel weight. This other way. Let's go back to our airport chart for taxi. Um, so yeah, your zero fuel weight will populate. So just click your line select key here and it'll pop up. Boom. And put it there. Reserves. Let's go back to our P. Uh, I think they're up top here. Yes. The reserves are here. So we got 5.0. 5.0 on the reserves. Cost index was up here. CI 27. Boom. We do not need to go to 40,000 feet or 41,000 feet. Uh, it's a little high. What's our total? I mean, what's our like, total route here? I thought it was like 350, 360. 320. Yeah. Some, somewhere around there. So we'll go up to... Yeah, I don't want to climb the whole time. Let's go... Do three four zero. How about that? Execute. Go in one limit. I typically just skip this one. Enable whatever. Go straight to takeoff. We'll do flaps five to takeoff. Boom. CG twenty three point oh. Trims four and three quarter. V speeds. Seems a little light, but I think it's usually about that. Uh, so we'll set our trim here on the yoke uh, for three quarter. This plane does not need that much trim. I feel like it's like always over trimmed. All right, cool. What's next? Let's go overhead. We'll go yaw damper on. We'll go the rest of these pumps on, bottom left. I got my button mapped to all three of those. We'll do a cross feed check, why not? Go bright to dim, dim, perfect. Uh, we'll go window heat on up top. All right, here I have those four mapped to buttons too. Got our on indicator. We'll set our RTO here, right in the middle. Set RTO on. Fuel flow reset. Full beans. Uh, we'll set our heading. What's our heading for today? Heading is three three forty four on departure. Oops, that's VS, not heading. Oops, let's go back. Three, three forty four beans. Speed, what was our uh one twenty six, it's right at the bottom. Uh let's see. Yeah, we'll set our B two in here for our what was it one twenty six? Altitude we're going up to, let's see, do we have any restrictions? Or departure? No, I think we're good. Yeah, super easy departure, we're going straight south. Easy enough. So we're going 3-4 left, right? Or 3-4 right, sorry. Yeah, three four eight. Full so our altitude, we'll set that. Three four zero. Right 
Brownies, you still there? <laughs> Checking in on you. Make sure you're doing all right. Uh, three, four, zero. We'll go up top. Set our cruise here. Uh, I love how fast this is. Three, four, zero. And then our landing altitude, or altitude. Landing elevation looks like 800 elevation right here. We'll punch that in here. Boom. What else? What else? What else? What else? I think we're ready to push. Well, not push, but start this bad boy up and get out of here. Shall we? Brownies? You alright? You good? You hanging in there? Alright, let's go. Let's get some beacons going. Yeah, and if you guys have any, let me know if uh, if my flow is off, if I'm missing anything, if I'm doing anything backwards. Um, I got a lot of my flow from Flight Deck to Sim, so I know he flies one of these birds in real life, so I figured, hey, guy must know what he's doing. Uh, and his videos are awesome. Um, so... Yeah, let me know in the comments below if I'm missing anything or doing anything wonky or backwards. All right, cool. So let's go. We don't need to push today because we'll just we'll just do a uh, we'll just do a 360 here or 180. Set the. Uh, Let's go ahead and get the doors closed. Doors. Wait, let's go. Ground services. Wait, how did I do this the other day? Uh, I think I just went here. Chocks removed. Doors. Air stair and doors. Yep, chocks are gone. Love these animations. Sweet. Air stairs are gone. Cool. We can go beacons on or anti collision. It's right over here. Anti collision on beacons on. We'll set our right igniter here. Right engine. And then let's get this set up. Legs. And where is it? Take off ref. Yes. Cool. Um uh, camera set up here. Alright, let's go. Engine two. Start her up. Let's roll. We'll introduce the fuel at twenty-five percent. Right here, watch our N2 get to 25. Kind of hear the engine spooling up. 24. Boom. Go outside for some of these sounds. Cool. Sounds like she's good. Let's go engine number two or engine number one. Boom. Monitor in two. Waiting for twenty five. Boom.
Sounds like we got two good ones. Uh, let's see. We will go back up top here. Go APU. Gen 1. Gen 2. Go APU off here. Boom. APU off. Continuous on the engines. Uh, do -de -do -do -de -do. We'll go up top. We'll do probes on. Probe heat on. We'll go packs to auto. Packs auto. ISO valve auto. APU bleed off. Laps, Cinco, set, boom. Why did the yoke just move? I didn't even touch it. Cool. Uh, sweet. What I like to do here, I'll hit the engine. I like to have this stuff up here, and then the system button for the light control check down here. So we'll do that. We'll go. I'll put this up first. And I didn't notice this till the other day. The checklist. Well, I noticed the checklist on here, but I didn't notice the little button you can use for the little handy checklist. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> totally missed that. I swear. Again, you learn something. Can you drag it? Kinda. Uh, oh, that's size it goes. Cool. So let's go up, down, left, right. Let's go. Check it out here. Left, right. Oh, I don't know why. I feel like I always rather the yoke down. It's kind of big, uh, or kind of in the way. Uh, set our altimeter, I just hit B. Cool lanes. I think we're ready to get out of here. Let's go taxi lights. Where are they? Oh, I forgot to, totally forgot to turn the logo on earlier when I first attempted. Taxi lights. Shall we? Get up out of here. Cool. We got a super easy taxi down Charlie. That's it. Easy peasy. So close this out. We'll lock on our tracker. Q. Brownies? You still there? You ready to get out of here? You guys ready to kick this popsicle stand? Later, dude. Thanks for the set of assists. I love how you can see the winglet out of the window. That is cool. Beans. I need to do the uh, the uh, flaps from that position. I totally forgot to do the wing view for the lap through track. Or output. Or whatever you call it. Cool. Brownies is ready to go, so let's do it. Uh, taxi lights on. Yes. Cool. So we're gonna pull a pull a UE here. Let's do it. Oh, after we release the park and brake. Let's go. Oh yeah, and this is a freeware uh, scenery of flight MTO. Gracias. Just got some delicious dinner. Uh, let me put that aside so I don't crash here. The bird. Nope, it's not. Hit the wing tip. Yeah, this Reno uh, scenery. Fly, uh, fly, flywear. Freeware. On uh, Flight Sim TO. I can pull that up after we take off to show you guys. Uh, it's a rabbit. I got these new um, 737 
Honeycomb, Bravo. What do you call them? Knobs? At the top of the uh, throttle. They're huge. Definitely uh, getting used to those. It is bright out here in Reno. Ain't it? It's blinding brownies. I don't know if they modeled the tower, but uh, yeah. The screenshots looked really good, so if you guys want to pick it up? K R N O on Flight Sim T O. The lights on across the runways should be good here. Oh. Yeah, there's a terminal. Terminal's back on this side. I think he. I think they modeled some of these. Uh, what are they called? Hotels. That's what they're called. So. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Still messing around with the cockpit view. Or like the captain view. I don't know. For you guys, it looks like it's way too far zoomed out. For me, this feels too... Way too close. I'm still working on that. So, bear with me. On the... Bite of my dinner. It is hot. Hot fire. Ooh, that warmed my chest up. Yikes. Alright, I forgot to turn the lights back off. Alright. Let's see here. Let's pump the brakes. Reset our altimeter. We're good there. They forgot to get rid of the random lights on the taxiway, but it's all good. All right, let's go a little short. Uh, let's see. Let's go flight director on. Should have did this on the way up to the runway. Arm auto throttle. Uh, we'll go transponder. T A R A, for good practice. And my V, uh, my L nav has a weird, like pre takeoff. V nav will work, but L nav sometimes does not. I have to click it on after wheels are up. So I don't know. Let's go lights on. Uh, let's see. Go left. Assuming we're clear, right? Yep. Ooh, that was hot. My mouth is nice and burnt. Guys, you ready to get out of here? Ready to do this? Lights are on. Let's go. LNAV, do you want to work? Ah, oh, you do. There you go. Start the clock. way to hit the VNAV because I feel like they mess each other up. Alright, let's zoom this out one notch and we're rolling. Let's spool these, this beast up. Uh, we'll go 40%. Toga, let's go. Here's Pete's alive. Check. Do it. V1. Rotate. Nice and easy. Nice. Uh, Here's coming up. This thing likes to shoot to the moon. There 
goes. The uh, some of the hotels demodeled. Nice, sweet departure. Scoop the nose down a little bit. Climb power is coming in. Slow turn here. Little flaps one. Looking good. Kind of trim noise is obnoxious. And let's go flaps up. Kind of cutting our cutting our churn here. It's all good. Let me zoom this back in. I'm just gonna hand fly it for a minute. We're at ten thousand already. Oops. The lights off. RTO is off. Gear off. VNAV. Looking good. We'll fly it up to ten, uh, twelve thousand. Straighten her out here. We're looking good. Cool. We'll go autopilot. Let it resync here. Can we see the airport? Ah, it's just under our wing. Where is it? Ah, let's come back over here. Later. Oops. All right, we're looking good on the climb. Uh, we go. I usually just go standard for eighteen thousand. On the altimeter. Hey brownies, are you there? Got a question for you. Oh. Start switches. They go off, right? Yeah. Miss that. Uh, let's go out here. Why don't we? Reno, back here. Man, I wish we could pop out the screens on the in the cockpit for takeoffs. I miss doing that, like we do in the uh, in the fly-by-wire Airbus. Cruising. Jump back up front real quick. Oh, we're a little off our route. Oh yeah, that was a sharp turn. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was a very sharp turn. But super short departure, that's for sure. Cool. We'll pull up uh, the Van Nuys. I like this view up a little higher. 
Let's see what we got out here. What is that? Huge lake. Oh, that's Lake Tahoe, duh. Oh yeah, we did a flight here, didn't we? In the CJ4? Yeah. The, uh, yeah, it was somewhere down here. Did it really? Or no. Was it up here? No, yeah, I think the air, it's like a little, little airport's up here. Are we close to it? Yeah, I think so. The airport was either right up here. Uh, I don't remember. Or it was on the south end. Huh, one of the two. Sweet. Oh, there's the airport. Reno. Look at that. That looks good. Nice. Nope, I think Brown Easy left. Whenever you come back, I'm just going to munch on my in flight meal. Oh, there's a little airport. Right in the bottom of the valley. We are cruising. Oh, speaking of dinner, crew meal. We got... Baked cauliflower, some paprika. We got some white fish. Forget what kind. And some couscous. I think the couscous is uh, what flavor is this? Like a basil herb, I want to say. Pretty tasty. So, that's the in flight meal today. Pardon my chomping. Me hungry. What I can do is go mute. Look at the reflection on the water. Let's go. That's lit. That is lit. It's a huge lake too, by the way. All right, I'm gonna get some bites in here. I'm gonna go mute real quick. All right, cool. We're back. I only got a couple more bites left, so. <clears throat> All right, let's see. That is gorge. That is sweet. 
Uh, I think it was this. This airport right here. Yep, I remember. Yep, so I think it's KTBL. Is that tile? I think it is. That's the airport code. KTBL. Yeah, if you're flying something smaller than like a. Nah, we flew the CJ4 in there. Um. Whoa, what is up with this? It is not loading. Checkerboard. Yeah. What is this, Microsoft? What is this checkerboard nonsense? Um, let's see. Oops. Let's go. Can we hang out in here? Let's have some coffee. Some PMDG coffee. Oh, nope, won't let me. Uh, what was the other view? I think it was this. No, let's do this one. Just the, I like the room with the couch. Where's that at? My fruit tray. Yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah, one thing I wanted to... Hold on, before we get into this, where are we at? <laughs> I have not checked. We are at cruise now, so let's, uh, let's throw on some jams. Uh, TOD, we got 160 miles plus. I believe that on 80. Oh, I keep forgetting to check this. Flaps, green... Stabilizer trim. Let's see if you guys can see this. So check that. Check that. Engine bleeds on. Packs auto. Any gear up. Flaps and lights. Uh, we'll go down here. Pressurization. Landing altitude. I'm probably forgetting. Gonna even forget that's there. Cool. Why aren't we going 280? Can we? Yeah, it's in the. It's in the legs. Why is? It, I remember it did say at crew. Uh, I remember it said at crew, 280 is unable. Uh, why? Why, homeboy? Why? 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 All right, actually, before we jump into that, let's, uh, I just want to brief the approach. Well, let's throw on some jams first. Brownies, are you back? I got a question for you, brownies, that I need to know. Um, let's see here. We're going to play some jams. Ah, let's go with my jam first. Yeah. Oh, brownies. I got a question. Whenever you're ready. Oh, the fish had capers on it, too. meal today. Brownies, are you ready? I got a question. Oh, brownies, I got a question for ya. I don't think we need our OP anymore. I'm just gonna move it up here, close her out. Zoom this out. Is our approach plate stuff?
Hey brownies, I got a question for ya. Actually, we're gonna go speed. Uh, intervention here. Because why are we unable to do 280? I don't understand. You know? Alright. Let's see. Yeah, we already did after takeoff checklist. Let's approach our, our brief our approach. Better yet. Alright, let's go. Just because I feel like it's better to do this right at cruise than to be scrambling later. So, our minimums. To 95, is that right? I feel like I always look in the wrong place. Yes. 1095, so we'll set that. It's gonna take a while, but we'll set it. Let's put this up here. To 95, here we come. Oh, brownies, I got a question, but I think you left. Yeah, does anybody know how to make this? There's any faster way to go to get our minimums up here on the uh, barrel here? Please let me know in the comments below. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Need to know. Need to know. Come on, you can do it. On 1095. We are counting on you. Hurry. Boom. 1095. Uh, final course is 164. Throw that in course. Final <clears throat> course. Six four. Boom. Uh, let's go down here. Frequency localizer one eleven three. Boom transfer. Just gonna do it over here. Why is this? It like literally changes the squawk. Or the frequency. That's not good. Especially for bad sound. Uh, cool. So we'll just need to set our. There's our prog. 130 30 miles to. to cool. We're cruising. Look at that. Yeah, so first week. Let's cover this real quick. First week impressions. PMDG 7 tree 7 BBJ. It's great. Um, I love the airplane. Uh, I'm trying to think. I just think it's, there's just a, some bugs. But, I mean, the. The. Like things you can do with this airplane, like all the equipment that you can, you know, change, right? Like, so many animations with the, uh, where is it, the doors, you know, you can open every door, you can open the overween exits, the air stairs, you can install those, or take them out. The BBJ, you know, the, they got the, oh, I can't even click on ground services, <laughs> dang it, uh, but in the ground services you can, you know, you can pull up the luxury, uh, whatever you want to call them, SUVs, the black SUVs, and like simulate the passengers loading or whatever, um, 
you can custom state the airplane. So like, you know, your startup state, you can save every button already, you know, set to where you want it. Like for me, I set the, the uh, transponder here to standby because it was like always on one of these other settings and it should start in standby. Same goes for like the parking brake. That was always off. Um, so I mean, you can get you can get pretty pretty technical with it. Um, and like for me, I turned the panel lights on over here. I did the startup state for the panel lights and also the panel lights up here, so I didn't have to turn them on every time. Which I really like that. Um, the HUD, you got your shortcut button right here, which is pretty sweet. I thought I was going to use it, but I don't. I have it once. <laughs> I think I'm trying to test myself more, and I don't know. I think it was just like the visual um, it's going to be harder for me to I like the music's a little loud uh, but yeah you got your shortcut here for the the uh, the HUD and again that's you come down here to equipment Where's the HUD at? Um, is it, did I miss it? No, I think it's back here more. Yeah, the HGS. I think it's HUD guiding system, if I'm correct. But anyway, you can install it, uninstall it. Um, I think I, had troubles with this earlier was my fixed config. I think I saved this is my tail number I always use. I think I saved it to this bird, so like having the antennas installed, I think. Otherwise the antennas are yeah, Tito's and or Tios antenna is the one on the tail, and then the KU band is the Wi-Fi antenna on the top of the middle of the fuselage. So, like this, it's this uh, this antenna is the Tios. This is the KU band. This one right here. I mean, most BBJs have these, so just sweet. And this is a sweet bird. Uh, brownies, one second. I mean, this is... This is a sweet airplane. It's functioned well enough for me to fly it so far <laughs> as best as I can, being that I'd never flown the A737 ever in any sim. So, yeah, I mean, first week, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I don't want to fly anything else. 
nothing else. The uh, Phoenix can do it. I'm sure it's a great airplane, but we're putting the Airbus in the hangar for a little while. So, yeah, I mean, there's going to be a lot of updates to, to this plane, too, so I'm pumped. Can't wait. Oh, and, like, I think we're going to start doing Long Haul Saturdays. LHS. I think I'm going to make that a make that a thing. Long Haul Saturdays. So under Equipment, I installed the... Or let me go through these if, in case you guys want to change anything or use any of my settings. Page 1. Page 2. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I wanted to stop here. On the BBJ, you can install nine auxiliary tanks. Five in the front. No, five in the back in the front. I think that's what it means. So you can literally put 71,000 gallons of fuel in this bird. Which is insane. I don't even know how far that would go. I need to look it up. Um, so that's that. And then page 11. You got... Again, that's the HUD display. The HDS installed. You want to install the HUD. Uh, 12. Page 12. 13, page 14, get your KU band on top of the bird, and then the Teos antenna on the top of the tail. That's it. Let's go back to our prog pay. We got 60 miles to the TOD. Brownies, are you still there? I was going to ask you if you're still there. Oh, I wanted to highlight uh, the Reno scenery. Uh, where is it? Downloads. Uh, all downloads are up to date. Fly. Where is it? And I think this, like, just released, too. So this is... This is a new, uh... This is a new airport. Uh... Here's the first picture. Whoops. So I'm run through some pictures. Yeah, they modeled the hotel. Got gate action, sweet. I don't know. No, we were on the opposite side of the terminal. This is the terminal side. We were on the uh, FBO side. Got cargo. Nice. Got a Gulfstream parked in there. I don't know where that's at, though. We should have parked next to that. Uh, night lighting, sweet. Oh, nice. There's a BBJ. Uh. This must be one of the FBOs. I thought we were at that the map I looked at. Yeah, looks good though. Night lighting is sweet. Yeah, so Reno. Yeah, just uh, just dropped. I want to say by uh, Starseed. So you guys can pick this up on uh, Flight Some TO. Oh wow, he's got a bunch more. I haven't seen these. Houston, I already downloaded that one. I didn't realize that was his. I think I have the Jamaican one too. Or Jamaica one. Uh, Ontario, Houston. Yeah. So he's got some other sceneries. If you guys want to pick this one up. And then we already had the Van Eyes one.
Yeah, this is like one of the most busiest private airports in the country. Signature. Night lighting. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that lighting's supposed to look like that. The big giant maintenance hangers that are there. Clay Lacey, they have a huge footprint there. Night lighting. I think that's a yeah, tower. It's pretty cool. By Freaky D. Cinema Update 9 compatible. This is nice. Um, yeah, so that's where we're headed today. Maybe we'll park at the Clay Lacey. These dark gray hangers. Cool. Yeah, so that is today's freeware for both AF what's. So that is good to go. Alright, TODs in 30 miles. Wow, it's coming up quick. I wanted to actually let's set our bottom altitude. I, I like testing the VNAV in this. Let's set it to 3800. Um, just cause. And I like testing the uh, <clears throat> the autopilot on approach to make sure you know it'll work and uh, you know no visibility or low visibility so we're gonna take our altitude down it's 3800 sorry brownies are you still there <laughs> I keep forgetting to ask you. Are you still there? I'll, uh... Ready to... Ask you whenever you get a mo. Momente. Oh, I wanted to do one quick comparison, too. Uh, I need a map of mud to hang out in my favorite hangout spot. Actually, let's come over here. It's so cool though that they model the let's see out the windows. Sweet. Um wanted to see what the real November one Tango Sierra interior looks like. I'm sure they modeled it after some some BBJ. Eighty million bucks. How the one percent fly? There is so much junk on this. second guys uh, oh let's go back up I'm gonna pull it up all right so there's so much junk on this page I'm just gonna keep it here That's a little bit easier for you guys. Yeah, how the 1% fly inside an $80 million customized Boeing business jet. March of 2012. Oh man, if we would have got this interior, that is sick. And the uh, automatic uh, window shades. Man. Yeah, they didn't exactly model it after this one, this one looked like. They got a bar. Oh, the bar is up front. Nice. It's got a coffee machine. I'm sure there's a little fridge back there. This is, as you can see, the cockpit's right here. Bedroom in the back. See, I knew there was a bedroom in it. I knew there would be a bedroom. It's 
probably this is probably all the way in the back. I think we're spooling down. Yep. Yep, you can see, I think I said it last stream, there's always a bunch of TVs in the walls of these BBJs. Yeah, they got the shower right. The curved stand-up shower. Are those that's is that two showers? That might be a different. This includes a private bathroom with a shower. Oh no, that's Deer Jet on the right. Is that it? Is this all junk? Yeah, like, what is this? Why are there so many? Yeah, I mean, if there's a developer out there that could model this for this actual interior, that would just, that would be so sick. There's the white and gray livery. Man, the bar, the bedroom in the back, all the TVs, the lounge, the shower. Oh yeah, I think this is the bedroom's bathroom. This other bathroom. Or this is over here on the left? I don't know. Yeah, that's not the same shower. There's just, or no, this this shower on the right is from a different, different jet, I think. So, yeah, I wanted to compare that because I was curious. Because I hadn't seen it yet, so. Uh, where are we at? Let's minimize you. I should pay attention so we don't hit us a mountain. So I can make it a turn. Coming off the coast, or getting closer to the coast. All right. Let's see. We need to go. Yeah, I forgot to turn our speed down here. Yeah, we're supposed to be at 280. <laughs> Messing around the back. My bad. It's all good. Cool. So high is that highway? 280. 20,000 or 22,000. Yeah. So idling back here. Uh, let's go down here. We'll do our drag card. Yes. Enable. We'll do... Why, why is it always... I feel like it's always 120. Laps 40, 120 landing. Uh, let's set our... What's the... Uh, bum, 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 bum. Altimeter at Van Eyes is standard, so let's just hit the standard button, 2992, that's cool. Winds are 140. Winds are 14888, so good. All good there. Um what else? Altimeter is set. Looks like we're at below 22, about right on. Next is between 17 and 19. Keep zooming out here. Cool. 
just put our lights on at 10,000 feet. And I will get replay popped up here so I don't forget. Not forget. Love all the checkered, checkered things out here. Love it. Can you see the coast? That's uh, more over here. It's the coastline, water, Pacific. Did we play everything. Oh no, we got some more tunes. Replay. Where you at? There you are. Get this popped out a little later. Oh, I forgot that freezes the sim. I know the sim likes to stutter in going into LAX and sometimes into Van Nuys. It's only really like oh, 20 30 minute drive apart. 20 minute drive apart. So, I don't know if it's gonna have that issue today. Alright, let's go back in front. at 16,000. Unable at 270. Well, we're going 270, so... Obviously, you're able. I have not been using the weather or terrain uh, displays on the, uh, was it the PFD here. I think one time when I used that on a departure, the VNAV and LNAV would not work. I think it I think it even disconnected my auto throttle. So I think there's still a bug there. So yeah, I have not I have not used that much. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, as far as the this bird goes, I think it's a great, great airplane with, oh, sorry, it's a little loud, with even more potential after the bugs are ironed out. But for somebody like me that's, I don't know, I'm like, let's see, year and a half into flight simming at all. Um, so, yeah, I've never flown the 737 at all prior to the this release of the PMDG, so I've enjoyed the heck out of this plane so far. So good. But, yeah, there are bugs. And that's normal, so... I mean, once those get ironed out, I mean, this is just, this is just going to be a perfect plane. Just going to be perfect. We need to be at 250. Uh, are we slowing down? Let me make sure. We're at 270 now. Yeah, I think we have our... Yeah, our D cell is right now, so perfect. Perfect. Yeah, and I've been also I've been learning. I mean, this plane's only been out in a week. Uh, I've been trying to soak up as much info as possible. I still feel like I'm learning something new every day flying this thing. 
But uh, yeah, if you guys are struggling with anything or having any bugs or issues, I would uh, definitely go on the pmdg.com and go to their community forum. Um, or just Google PMDG community forum and go there. Um, it's been super helpful for me uh, getting stuff to iron out, looking for tips and all kind of tips and tricks for how do I do this, how do I do that, all that good stuff. And then obviously YouTube, there's tons of streamers that are pros at this bird. Um, that uh, have some really awesome tutorials. I know I'm trying to sure, surely trying to share as much as I can as far as what I'm, I'm learning. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys need any need any uh, help or walkthroughs on anything, let me know in the comments. Uh, I can definitely walk through everything walk through certain things that you guys might be wondering or need help with. So yeah, definitely let me know in the comments. But uh, yeah, many more flights to come with this bird. Especially earlier talking about the uh, the uh, the uh, auxiliary fuel tanks that I was showing you guys earlier. You know, we can definitely, definitely fill this bird up and go for some long flights. Brownies, I don't know if you're still there, but I'm ready to ask you my question whenever you're, whenever you come back. Uh, past 10,000, uh, all lights are on. Check it, check, check, check. We're good. Uh, what next? Uh, we'll go ahead and arm our spoilers. So, spoilers are here, so I think you just pull them up. I got them mapped to my. And you look out for this, this here. I noticed this stab out of trim light is here it's I don't think it's went off for me yet but uh, yeah because on final if you leave the autopilot on too long this thing just trims the mess out of itself and it trims it too high it trims it too nose up so look out for that I was reading about that earlier it makes a lot of sense um, oh brownies how's the uh, how's the sound I crank the sounds up my microphone and the sim sounds. Can you hear me over the sim sounds? Yeah, what if I go out here where it's usually pretty loud? The airport's back over here somewhere, so we're getting close. Brownies, can you hear me? Uh, cool. Let's go. Engines back to continuous. Oops. I do not set the auto brake yet, uh, which is no, not there. Which is the uh, auto brakes is right here, one, two, and three. I just not feeling it. I think I used it a couple times and it was just like overkill for me. Uh, so I have not used it that much yet. Uh, brownies, I don't know if you got my question, <laughs> but let me know. All right, how are we looking? Spoilers are armed. Lights are on. 
engines are continuous. Now we're just waiting for flaps. One. Let's get our approach plate up here. jam but we have got to pause you the jams brownies you there let me know coming into land right now brownies so we need the uh, we need your friendly start recording replay reminder man let's see this Ortho is on my usion. Got to say, I got to say it. Alright, I'm 240 on the speed. Yeah, I mean, VNAV. VNAV is. It's doing a pretty dang good job. So. been working so far so good so let's go let's go flaps one coming in let's see it come out here look at the slats nice loving it I mean, look at the detail on the houses. It's crazy. It's amazing. Amazing. So amazing. 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 All right. Let's go flap cinco five. Coming in a little hot. Yeah, and I know for you guys it looks so zoomed out, but I honestly can't help it from my end. It's like the only thing that works. Oh, watch that bank. We're at 196, 195. And gonna hit approach mode. Approach is set. Here you got your approach button right over here to the right on the MCP. Let's go. Gear down. Flap 15. Had to set the gear cam, but uh, camera. Cool, you ready, brownies? Let's do this. I'm feeling a butter today. I'm feeling a butter today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's go flaps 25, and we're going to dial in our speed here. Is it 120? We'll go 130 for now. Looking good. I'm going to start replay now, so I do not forget. Uh, let's go 120 on the speed or the ref and flaps full. I'm curious what the trim is set to right now. It's above five, yeah. It's like always too trimmed out. 
but Okie doke. Alright, let's do this. Flaps full, spoilers armed, lights are on, approach looking good, right on glide slope, glizer. Still doing about 123. Let's go autopilot off, my bird. Shouldn't that stop? I had to hit autopilot twice, I think. But I thought it. Uh... Yeah, glide so. It likes to play some tricks on you. I'm focused on the FPV. I think that's more accurate. Oh, well, we're getting blown over here. Let's hold the nose there for a second. Been a little low. 1,000. Chick. Okay, now we get the nose down. Looking good. Brownie's ready for some butter. Let's get some butter on this one. Oh, we're a little high. Traffic. Traffic. I think that's a bug too. Like Traffic. Yeah, we're a little high. Traffic. Oh now glide slip wants to work. It's actually saying we're too high. Down, nose down. Glide slow. Uh, we're good. Glide slow. Glide slow. Glide slow. Glide slow. Minimums. Minimums. Indeed. Glide slow. 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 Uh, light slow, 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 light slow. Where are my call outs? Ten. Where are my call outs? The nose down. Center line. That was ugly. Let's go brakes. Hit the brakes. Hard on the brakes. Welcome to Cali, Cali. Alright, let's turn off here. I think Clay Lacey's right over here. To the left. Come on, Microsoft Flight Sim. Yeah, I, I think I think the update is messing with it because, uh, yeah, I mean, look at look at the freezes. Uh, let's go clock off. Flaps up, spoilers in. Landing lights, strobes. Yeah, clay laces over here. Uh, so we'll make a left. Yeah, I wonder if my... Uh, my callouts should have been programmed into the airplane. I didn't change the setting. Um, cool. So we're going to leave everything running. I think signature... Signatures over here. Yikes. Frames must be hurting right now. 
Alright, let's go. Taxi lights off. Ramp. Actually, let's park like this. Yeah, let's park over here. Oh, let's swing it around. I gotta clip something. Oh boy. I think I gotta stop switching the camera views. <laughs> it's, it's getting extra choppy. I think it's just LA though. So many, so much stuff to load. Oh, come on. Seriously? Cool. Alright, parking brake. Set it. And we're gonna leave everything running. Uh, so we'll stop the replay, just like we did last stream. Figure it out. You can uh, stop the replay and leave the bird alone. Let everything keep running. And then after you run your replays, you can shut her down. So let's do that, shall we? Actually, one second. Let me... Now I'm wondering if it was the update, I'm assuming, that messed with the callouts. Yeah, all my callouts are on. 150, 40, 30. I got 20, and I think I got 10. <laughs> so I'm like, just waiting there for a minute. Uh, let's see, we'll go back and, uh, what am I trying to go here? FS action, that's it. Doors. Cool. Alright, shall we replay it? Replay mode? So we like butter brownies. That is it. I made up for some chunky landings in this bad boy, that's for sure. Alright, let me get my controller. I got the tunes ready to rock. Uh, let's do this. Let's go camera do we want it first? Oh my goodness. This is making me worried. Uh, Alright, let's do it. Let's run it. Run it, run it, run it. TPs. So let's go back here first. Right, brownies. Replay it up. Yeah, LA is like. I forget my frames get crushed in LA. And get a lot of stuttering on the sim. I think that's just. So much to load here. I'm sure this freeware probably does not help in this situation. Uh, let's go from the side. Oh, 
top so we don't get the trees. Brownies is too low. Like it's pretty low. Bring her down. Why did that just pause? nice we get the reverser and spoiler animation but not the not the flaps no flaps are in there huh. all right let's go back to the bird yeah this is the frames are getting crushed right now. Uh, oh, let's do the gear cam. Yeah, because I'm wondering, I was like, why did we like bounce? Are she not alive? I was wondering why we bounced. Well, no, we just bounced on the right side, or from the left side. The left main came off the ground. I don't know why. It seemed like a pretty smooth... I think I was right on the... Why does it go slow motion right there? Went idle. Or no, the left main didn't come up. It felt like it from the cockpit. It looked like it did. I mean, that was pretty buttery. It was just that, like, all the weight shifted to the right side of the planes. How? Maybe it was the wind gust, the wind shear. Looks like the wind sock here is off a little crooked. So that, that makes sense. Let's see this view, shall we? The spoilers down for replay. Pause. Runner back. Oh, I always forget to hide the progress bar for replay. Brownie's got to tell me to move that stinking progress bar. Yeah, I mean, there's so much detail on all these houses. Like, it's no wonder it's frame heavy. Yeah, I think it froze there and we're like at 30 feet. Bring her down. Nice. This <laughs> is like freezes right there for some reason. Nice, bring the nose up. Nice flare, and then like for whatever reason the <clears throat> for every 
reason, the weight shifted all the way to the right. That was fun. That was a nice little, uh, nice little route. Reno to Van Nuys, the Valley, California, North LA, North La La Land. Uh, let's go. Spoilers down. Uh, let's hit the drone, shall we? Seeing it freezes there too. Set the drone. Lower this bad boy. And pause. Actually, let's scooter over a little bit. Pause. Run it back. Go from the other side of the taxiway. Let's see what happened. Maybe it was the crosswind? Yes, we going back to Cali, brownies. Got it. Brownies, how's the music? Is the music super quiet? Oh, we're not gonna see it because of the. Wow, look at the incline on the on the runway. I forgot the incline was that bad. I mean, look at the flare though. The flare was nice. Oh yeah, beast. Beast mode. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Just look at it. Look at that beast. She's a beauty. Here she is. Man, this plane is something else. Spoilers won't go down in drone mode. Do you guys know, if anybody knows how to be able to operate the plane, like rudder and all that stuff while you're in drone mode? I cannot. I don't know. Is that just me? I cannot do it. That's sweet. These graphics are crazy, man. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. So cool. Alright, we're gonna go from... Uh, we'll let it do its thing. We're gonna go from the. We're gonna do the little end of the runway. Wherever the runway is. Why is it not moving? Oh, it's really slow. go into the runway in the middle here. <laughs> Those noises are so funny. Bring it back, bring it back. Yeah, this plane's amazing. If I haven't uh, mentioned that yet. It's a banger. Loving it, loving it. <clears throat> yeah, once you get your... It's like every other plane. Once you get your... 
You gotta like find your touch on the runways or on the approaches. So once you get your touch down, you're good. Every bird's got its own little touch to it. I love to fly by. Gear cam. Slow motion. Oh, it's riding with the spoilers out. Oh, they're going to come out anyway. Uh, so much for that center line. Nice. See it way down there. Where's Clay Lacey? Where's the ramp we parked on? Where is it? Oh, there's a plane there now, so we're gonna run right through it. Uh, let's go. Where's the tower? I think the tower is on this line. Yes. I don't think they modeled it. New. So let's pretend like we're on top of it. Or in it. Ah, uh, oh jeez. I gotta go back to the bird. Put the spoilers down. Oh, we're chasing our shadow. bad the when you when you're this far out you zoom in and it's all crusty in the back I mean I'm sure that's because my settings but still but once it gets closer it's it makes up for it Slow motion. Right here, I was like, uh, where are my call outs? Boom. Hit the brakes. Hit the brakes, hit the brakes, hit the brakes. Let's see. Yeah, let's see from this side. Spoilers go down, thank you. Pause. Reverse. Alive. Airspeed's alive, it sure is. Chasing our shadow down here. Bottom right. Nice. Heal beans. Brownie, how's the stream look today? Is it all good? Oh yeah, we're about, what did we say, 25 minutes late? Because of the crash to desktop earlier. It's all good. Probably made up for it in the air. Yeah, I love the shadow. The sun's going down on the west coast, so. Sweet. Look how the shadow on the trees. Nice, look at that. Slow motion. Nice and easy. As the runway inclines more and more. Yeah, I think the nose wheel came down a little tough. Hopefully that plane moved. Okay, cool. For now, anyway. Cool. 
cool. Um. I'm trying to think. I think that's everything. Actually, no. Let's do one more. From. Let's do one more from where we park. Something like that. Yeah, let's run one more here. Hopefully there's no plane that pops up. Parked. And then we'll go ahead and shut her down. Run through our shutdown. Those mashed potato mountains back there. Oh, fuel truck, eh? Slow motion. So funny how it recorded the glitches. That's pretty smooth touchdown. It just forgot to kick the tail. Move, fuel guy. Look at that. Look at that, look at that. Nice graphics or something else, man. Looks good. Looks so good. It's crazy. Cray, cray. Thanks, brownies. Thank you, thank you. Far too kind. Appreciate you. That's always. That was a nice little route. Would you agree, brownies? The spoilers down. Reno to Van Nuys. Reno to LA. Um, 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 um. Engine sounds amazing. Amazing, amazing. The engines as they freeze. So much ground traffic. Whoa. The turning noises are obnoxious. Oh, ground crew, you're getting ran over. stuck like four times. So I park? No, I got stuck again. This is where I parked. 
Yeah, so what you can do... Cool. So, you let your replay mode run out, or just, I guess, fast forward to the end of it. Um, what I don't think most people know about this replay is that you can still run through your shutdown at the end of the your recording if you just leave the plane. Just don't really touch it after you park it. Just put the parking brake on, and then you can come back to it after you put mode. So. Yeah, I like to still run through, run through the shutdowns, checklist, or whatever. So let's see. Um, where are we at? Start switches, go off. Pro heats at the top. Those can go off. Anti ice not on. APU. Uh, we'll go on and start. Wait for this bad, this bad boy to kick in. Yeah, I typically just go APU mode instead of uh, GPU. I mean, we got. Where's the. We still got 4.7. 4,700 pounds, 4,600 pounds on board. Like, why not? Why not? I wish you could put, they should put the chocks, set chocks on here, on this page, on the doors page. But I get why it would be on the pushback. All right, we're waiting for our APU gin. Stand by on the that bad boy. There we go. Our APU gin is on. So we'll go bus one and two. Boom. Uh, it's got a bleed switch on on the far side. I don't care. Uh, yeah, well, let's shut her down. off let's set the chocks bum, 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 bum. let's get the doors air stairs and door look at that nice Pumps, uh, window heats, they're up top. Those can all go off. Hydraulic pumps, where are they at? Where's my switch? They're in the middle. ISO valve can go open. Cool. Let's get the packs off here. Get their well, their their trucks would have pulled up by now. There he is. We got the transportation. Let's go. Whoops. Go back. Put zero and packs and zero and cargo and luggage. So we will unload these into their 
Uh, SUVs. Does that mean the brakes are hot? Brake temp, 10%. Let's get the, uh, get them cooled off. Cool brakes, cool. I think I replaced, replaced the brakes. Six passengers left. Almost got all the cargo. They're almost unloaded. <clears throat> cool. Boom. Passengers are good. Later. Thanks for flying with us. Brownies got their. Brownies got the the luxury uh, high-end transportation for flying with us today treating you brownies cool let's go uh, yeah we'll we'll end it there I'll leave the APU running we'll hang out here for a while so back to the drone cam. Why don't we? We'll leave her running. Wait, I think I have this one the wrong. Oh. Nice little shot. That's going to do it for today's stream. This was a fun one. Cool route. Again, wrapping up the first week of the PMDG 737 DDJ release uh, here at Van Nuys, North LA. So, of course, we'll be back here on Thursday. What's the plan for this week? Thursday's uh, stream we're going from here uh, Van Nuys up to or down to Phoenix we're gonna go to Phoenix International on Thursday and then from there on Saturday we'll go Phoenix back up here to the west coast Santa Barbara and that will uh, that'll be our schedule for for this week. So Tuesday, today, uh, Thursday, we'll be back here 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, so that is 6.30 Eastern p.m. And what is that? Pacific Time. Uh, 3.30 Pacific for this Thursday's stream. And then Saturday, we'll be plan it for 2 p.m. Central. That could get adjusted with some things I have going on this weekend, but uh, we're going to plan for Saturday, uh, this Saturday, 2 p.m. Central Standard Time for our third and final leg of this week. So yeah, all in all, another, well, not another week, but first week, wrapping up the PMDG 737. It's a beast. It's an awesome airplane, given the few bugs it has so far. But it will be next level when they get everything buttoned up, figured out. So I'm sticking to that. So thank you everybody for flying with us today. Uh, if you enjoyed today's stream, please like and subscribe. I would certainly appreciate that, and it does help the channel grow. Uh, with the algorithm and all 
all those good things. Um, so yeah, I am streaming here weekly on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, and exclusively Microsoft Flight Simulator. I don't fly any other sims. Uh, so if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified for future streams and videos. So yeah, if I missed anything or uh, if you guys need help with anything as far as flying the new uh, DBJ, PMDG 737-700, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Um, and if you guys need any resor resources or anything for the 737, I would definitely check out uh, PMDG's uh, community forum on their website. Com. Uh, that or any YouTube tutorials. A lot of great uh, simmers out there uh, putting out some awesome uh, tutorials for the bird. So, yeah, that will do it. Again, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, appreciate, really appreciate you guys. So, we will see you back here on Thursday here in Van Nuys for our next leg, our next trip. Thursday at 5.30 Central PM. Until then, we will catch you guys later. Have an awesome rest of your day. Wednesday, and we'll see you back here Thursday. Peace.